Buckeye, Arizona, La Fiesta Mexican Food. Let's head inside to see exactly what it has to offer. Welcome back to my channel. My Concha Crew is your girl, Diane Puro Guanajuato's vlogs. As Hola, always, <laughs> she's already like, Hola. As always, let's welcome all the new subscribers. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> As always, let's welcome all the new subscribers to the Concha Crew. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell on the right. Yeah, drop it down. Hit that bell. Suena la campana como guana la cubana. So we're here. We traveled out here. Um, this is about 45 minutes to 50 minute drive from Phoenix, downtown Phoenix. And this location is here in Buckeye, Arizona. And yeah, estamos en la fiesta, ready for the fiesta. Um, but... I mean, I must say, it is already an experience itself. I mean, being able to drive out, right, babe? Oh my gosh, it's so peaceful. So, it, it, I mean, you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. But, like, we, what you see is just, like, farms. It's just, like, so peaceful, like, fresh air. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and this is a little, little town. Um, and it's out. So, it's out from the city. And I, I, you know, I must say, me and Ariel, we love those little towns. I'm um, not saying that we ain't city girls, but I do prefer, you know, the peacefulness. It's, you yeah. know, out here there's really, like, nothing, to be honest. Like, it's it's a small town. But as always, you guys, if you can do me a favor right now, like this video. Go ahead. Yep. And also drop me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. And so, already we got our salsitas lined up here. They have a salsa bar, which I love when I go to places and they have yeah. the salsa bars. I'm so excited. Woo. I got it all. I'm and like, look okay. at she hiding this over here, but we got a whole <laughs> bag. And if we need more, they got a big old thing over there. Oh, my baby said, nope. I'm packing all of them. I'm like, I'm not getting up again. <laughs> <laughs> so here I got the salsa verde, which is uh, a little bit more on the spicier side. And then we have the salsa. Well, it's called salsa de aguacate, which is like an avocado. Like salsa. It's an avocado green sauce. And then here we have the salsa casero, which is more of a, um, I would say it's more. It looks like it might have like a smoky flavor. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's spicy as well. Roasted. Yeah, more roasted. Exactly. There you go, baby. It's a roasted salsa that they actually, with the mocajete, they make mm. that. Then over here we have just the regular hot red sauce right there. No regular. Yes. And so we're waiting on our chips because you already know. I always say this, we got to learn how it tastes by tasting these right here. So we have a whole buffet of salsas right here. And you know, they also have other, they have like tons of other stuff that they sell here. Mm -hmm. um, they sell, their, they also have a panaderia, which they sell their own pan. Um, and it's all different types, you know, like they have conchas. It's a bakery, a Mexican bakery. Wow. It's not at this location precise, but they have another location that it's at. There oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. And see right here, we just got our chips. Yeah. Oh, they give us a big. Ooh, they know what we're doing. Here. Look at that. that right there. Go ahead. They give us a big old vaso. There we go. We don't want to drop it though. Yeah. They gave us a big old vaso of chips. They're like, yeah. So I'm gonna let. Same. There we go. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try the salsa because I already All said right. that's how you know when you go to your booze or you you thinking of the person to be your boo. Ask them to try their salsa first. All right. So I think I'm going to try this one first because it came with it. But I wonder if these are the same. Are they they kind of look the same in a way. This this reminds me like this is the um, the cas casero. Oh, look at these. These look like they're made here. Go ahead, baby. Give it a try. Sometimes I, I like to add a little bit of lime to my salsa as well. <clears throat> I was just thinking that. But sometimes they don't need it. So. All right, babe, grab yours. All right. We'll do this together. There we go, right that here. All right. Cheers, baby. Cheers. All right, y'all, take the first bite. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, spicy. That's spicy. Oh, yeah. And I got a big one. Here you go. <laughs> mm -mm. One at a time. That's a 20 spice. Wow. That's what the va pica del culo, for sure. Ooh, that's spicy. Now I got the hiccup. Ooh. Yeah. That's not for chumps right there. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. 
they're gonna, gonna they're, not that's how they they're gonna know <laughs> they're gonna know when it's really hot is when they hiccup. She got some hiccups. Can I have some more, baby? Come on. <laughs> she gives me one little one. Like, I, I got a mess over here. Yeah, that's that's wow. really spicy. That ain't for someone who does not like spice. Let me go ahead and try this salsa de aguacate oh God, right here. I'm going to try this right here. Go ahead. Get the first one. Give it back. Let's see. Oh mm. Okay, so the habanero one, that's hot. Like, I'm not, like... You know, like that's the salsa of the habanero right there. She just girl. you heard her. I'm telling you, I just got over my hiccups. <laughs> mm. All right, yeah, yeah, go la comida. The food has arrived. Mm. Oh All my right. goodness. So, I'm gonna show you guys exactly. Can I have some more napkins, baby? Please, I don't have to keep asking you. Maybe like yeah, give me about 10 of them because <laughs> if not, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna give me 10 of them. Look. <laughs> Déjame, um, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, siete. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys what it is that I ordered. I got the huevos rancheros right here. And so basically what huevos rancheros is, is this is two corn um, tortillas and they're, they're toast, um, tostadas. Like, so like they're toasted, fried. crispy and fried. And on top they have the, I like the, um, sunny side up eggs and mines are medium because I do like a little yolk to mines and that rice and beans right there. Go ahead. Yep. Get it. Get you a bite. Give it back. So I forgot to mention on top, they, um, add, uh, it's like a salsa, like a red, um, a red sauce. And, and it has like, you know, you can see that they have tomatoes here. They have, um, uh, minced, um, onions mm -hmm. and then they have, um, what is this? Um, bell peppers as well. And they look like they're sauteed. Yes. And what you get? Let's see what my boo got. She don't let you guys know. Ooh, so it kind of looks like we have a little bit of the same plate. But I have chilequilla with rice and beans. And you know they got to have that cheese on the beans. Yes. And then I have the sunny side eggs. Um, but these are red chilequillas. And then I, I feel like that's like my favorite. Like the red chilequillas. The red. Mm -hmm. You can choose red or green, by the way. And their menu here is out of this world. They even did the eggs right. They got it all fried. Okay. Yep, I like them crispy. Oh, I'm over here grabbing my fork, but as always, <laughs> if you guys can join me for my prayer. Dear Lord, Holy Father, thank you for this food. Please bless the hands that made this. Please provide a warm meal to someone else in need. May this be nutrition to our bodies, dear Lord. Thank you for the blessing of this meal. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and drop it in the comments. Amen. Yep. And yes, we pray here before we eat. Okay. I've seen some of y'all. Y'all not praying. You got to be thankful. Okay. So this is Mexican breakfast. This yeah. is desayuno. And I can eat this honestly any day, any like time. Day. Yep. Look at that right there. Mmm. This is I'm telling you, it has oh it just literally has such a flavor. You know what? I just really don't care right here. No. Messy for y'all. Mmm. I'm learning from my boo. Mm. This bite is for y'all. This mm -hmm. is my chakra. Um, the bite I just took is for you too. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Mm. Oh, mm, I love me some salsa. Mm -hmm. So you already know I'm gonna drizzle this on top. Yes. What's your favorite Mexican um breakfast, babe? Oh, honestly, okay. So my parents they would make breakfast and everything. Uh huh. And I could be wrong here, but that I can remember, I don't remember really eating much of like chilaquillas. Like, I know my parents would cook everything. Mm -hmm. I just don't have that many memories of, of eating chilaquillas. So, as of right now, girl, it's chilaquillas. <laughs> what about yours, babe? We ate chilaquillas like no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And my nana would make them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As well, the huevos rancheros, machaca. Have you, you like machaca? Mm -hmm. mm. What is your favorite Mexican breakfast? Comment that below. Yeah. I just. Red sauce for me. Oh, I haven't even tried yours, baby. Let me try these beans, though, because you guys already know these beans look like they are. Oh, these beans look delicious. Look at that. There you go. Take a bite. 
come on, Christina, give it back. <laughs> and I say that because Christina and my sister loves beans. We're big time. We love beans. Mm. I feel like these ones are going to be bomb. They're creamy. Yes. I can already tell they're creamy. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Let me try the rice now. Mm. That is so good. And to drink, you guys, I got me a Sprite. You ever feel like something's so good? You just got no comment? <laughs> In other words, my babe's saying she don't want to comment. I'm like, go ahead, babe. Keep them entertained. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then mm. the, the red chili, mm -hmm. it's not even hot. Like, it has a lot of flavor, but it's not hot. Some mm. places, like, depending on what type of chili they like to use, sometimes it's, like, overbearing and, like, too hot. Mm -mm. You get I back feel on like that. This is like good for the non salsa eaters. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if anybody's going to wonder if this is spicy right here that I'm eating, the Willows and Anchettles, it's not spicy at all. You can literally make this at home. It's so delicious. And it's going to get watery, like right now, if you notice, I'm kind of <laughs> battling with it, but it's because of the sauce. It's all part of behind the scenes of vlogging. Mm -hmm. Getting all the footage for you guys. Right? So it doesn't, it doesn't come soggy like mm -mm. that. Just, the first you know, one I had, oh, sorry. The first one I had, of course, this one's already starting to get a little bit soggy because of the sauce, but it's okay. Christina, you need to come get these things, girl. Yep. I got already stuff on my oh. shirt. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, babe. I want you to try this. Mm. I will say it. These are bomb, mm -hmm. but I love my babes because she's been making all types of different chili. Oh, right, okay. There you go. Put a extra I'm over here. here. I'm just digging in, you guys. I'm so sorry. Right? <laughs> this is so delicious and it's homemade. I love that. I love when I can go to a place and yeah. their their food is homemade. Okay. Oh, this is a big bite. Let me share it. Go ahead. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Go ahead. Okay, give it back. Let's get this bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> that red sauce. Oh, that's so good. Yes. That has a lot of flavor, you guys. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Oh, some cheese. Baby, you want to try the webbled on cheddar? Mm-hmm. I don't want it to fall because I'm about to drink all that juice right now. No, drink all that juice. <laughs> Here. There's a way we're on chill. Okay, don't mind me, you guys. Please don't come for me. Don't mind me. I got to get this juice, though. This juice is so good. Ah, that was for you guys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. With that sauce, that's bomb. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. These beans are creamy. I'm gonna give that back. Oh, I forgot, my babe don't really like. I can't do too much yolk. And that's what's crazy. I just noticed, like in yours, they did it just the way you like mm -hmm. it. They're just like, it's crispy, but you know, not a lot. Like, I don't know how to say it, but with mine, my egg is like more crispier. There's a lot of yolk, but not like, you know. The yolk is a little cold. Their chips are actually good, you guys. These are really good. Crispy. Oh my goodness. Mm. My bad didn't even use none of her limes. Mm -mm. They also sell seafood here, by the way, too. Mm. Let's get some of this green. And they have... They also are a tortilla factory. So they have their own bakery. Um, they sell tortillas, flour, corn. So mm. when they make it in their bakery, they, they send out like the ingredients that they need to make the bread. Uh huh. Like in the restaurants, like this one's a, a smaller restaurant. They did mention that they have a bigger one. Um, I forget what that is. Yeah. They have a location in Avondale. Mm. They have a location off of Highway 85. Mm. 
I really like this green avocado sauce, babe. Have you tried it? I love it in here. Very cozy. You know, you have your own little booze. Like mm hmm And they're very welcoming, too. That's what I love. This takes me back to my childhood. I will always prefer a homemade meal versus, mm. you know, out to eat. So when I can go to establishments and their food tastes homemade, which this one does, and a lot of the others, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Especially when it's authentic. Like you can tell this is... You know there's no type of milk being. Exactly. And you can tell that they make this to order. Mm -hmm. And I don't want who know who, I don't know who wants my chip, but please let me have my chip because it kept cracking. Mm. Oh. Ruby, you're not going to eat that? This? Uh -huh. Do you want it? <laughs> I, I was trying to break it. Oh, and they also sell um, tres leches, um, fresa con crema. Mm -hmm. They got it all. That's what I love, and I always say that, and I tell Ariel this all the time. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We hit the jackpot with this one. The the Mexican chips. I love the. I I tell this to you know everyone that asks me about what's my favorite Mexican chips. It's the Doritos. Oh, the Mexican Doritos. Mm -hmm. It's because those Doritos are like cheesy. You know when you get a bag of Doritos. American Doritos, and there's one chip or two that are like really cheesy. Uh -huh. The Mexican Doritos are like all every chip's like that. <laughs> they know what's up. Mm -hmm. I'm just making a big old mess over here. It was a nice drive, too. It's nice to get out. I love to get out. Um, being the fact that you know you can get fresh air, you know, and you can try different food. That's the main thing. But this does take me back to to home. And I love that. I love to taste that, you know, reminiscent in a meal. I'm like living for these things right now. I have a Sophia girl. Oh my gosh, I'd be making a photo. <laughs> hey, mom. I've been wanting Mexican breakfast forever, but. Someone has a problem getting up early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I wonder who. I wonder why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't. Mm -hmm. Me and Ariel are opposites. Meaning, when it comes to that, I'm a morning person. Early in the morning, I'm tired early. This one. Oh. Puro party in the night. Yep. And in the morning? Puro sleep. Puro sleep. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love waking up early to go to work early. Uh, having my like whole day, whatever, but girl, I love my sleep. <laughs> girl. And I know you guys are saying you're not eating your rice. I but already said this. That's insomnia. I've never been a big rice eater. But this rice is very good. I will say it has a lot of that, you know, something more heavier on the tomato side. Yeah. Mm, it reminds me a little bit of, like, my rice. Mm-hmm. Not completely, but... Not too close, though. Yeah. Ariel's rice is off the, off the chain. Like, me and my mom drink that rice. <laughs> when she makes it, we're like, girl, bye. And maybe eating it. Like, uh-huh. I'm just in heaven over here, you guys. Please don't mind me. I seen someone say, you guys never get dessert. It's hard for us to get dessert because... <laughs> Girl, the way we be eating, well, mm -hmm. especially me, I ain't got no room. I ain't got no room for that. I barely have room for my soda. <laughs> 
But I don't know. We saw some press leches in. Mm -hmm. We saw some um, press outs, and you know they're probably going to put a lechera in there or something. Con crema, you know? So, should we get a tas leches cake or fresas con crema? Comment that right now below. Either put a cake, excuse me, put a cake um, emoji or put the strawberry emoji. Make sure you comment that. Baby, what do you want? We're not going to tell you because you're waiting to hear. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, gonna gonna go to wait. We're gonna let you guys wait so you guys can see. Yeah, comment below what you think we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. And we'll go from there. We'll see if you're right. I would love to ask anyone right now that makes salsa, can you please put your recipe in my comments, please? Mm -hmm. I would love to try different salsa recipes. And when I say put your recipe, don't put, oh, my salsa is so good. It's uh, very green and limey and little spice no i want you to say i put two tomatoes three serrano peppers two jalapenos i uh, you know pinch of cilantro please you tell me how good it is and then include the whole recipe yes if you can put that in the comments right now yes so i think we're good to say that we i'm over here I'm like okay let me let that my we already to finished everything oh my goodness that's how got, good. Like, chips here. <laughs> That's how good it is. So, let's go ahead and remember comment below because we're gonna place our order for dessert. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. See, the one time that we were gonna get dessert, they don't have no dessert. Um, so we will definitely get dessert on our next one. But either way, thank you so much. We're gonna go ahead and that tells me right there that. It must be so bomb that you better get it when you see it. Yeah. But if you don't, that's it. Yeah, she did say that those go quick. And, I mean, it's, like, around 4 o'clock right now. So they open early, I can imagine. But I do I do highly recommend this place if you're here in in Arizona, surrounding cities. Um, drive out from the city if, you're, if you want to just get a drive. It's nice out here. I recommend this place from a 1 to, tw a one to 10. That's a 20. This tells you enough. 20. 20. So make sure when you come to let them know that Diane Puro Guanajuato sent you out here. I will put the address in my drop down. So again, it's not right here. It's going to be right here. In the description. Right below. here. <laughs> here. Click that little bottom arrow and you'll see it. Yes. Thank you so much for all the love and the support. And I will see you guys on my next live or my next vlog. Adios. Bye, guys.